Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gyani Param. ACCA has been a very progressive qualification and will be one of the most progressive qualifications we have in the accounting world. There is a lot of debate going on as to whether we should take any exemptions for the papers which we are eligible for. Recently, I have seen many posts on social media discouraging people not to go for exemptions, but I wanted to give my view on the same as well. I ran a LinkedIn poll survey in which majority of the people and that was whopping 70 over 75 percent of the people voted in favor of claiming these ex exemptions now people who voted no they are not wrong as well according to me before we dive into the video i want to tell you i am in london today in front of iconic london eye I i'll tell you a fun fact about this it has about 32 capsules which represent 32 boroughs in london meaning each and every borough is important. Likewise, in ACCA as well, we have 13 papers plus our ethics module as well. All of them are very important and we should have the knowledge of the same. In one of my videos, I shared with you my ACCA journey and I told you that I completed the qualification within a span of two years. This was possible because I took four exemptions in ACCA, which I was eligible for. Was Making this decision difficult for me? The answer is no. I was eligible for four papers, which I readily took. Why it was important for me? I wanted to have an edge. Plus, I already had a knowledge about these papers. So it made sense for me to claim these exemptions and save both money and time. So what one should do when deciding whether to take these exemptions or not? These days, there's a new concept called conditional exemptions as well. I would strongly suggest that if you're confident about the papers in which you're getting exempted, please do take it. Now, there are few qualifications because of which you might get up to nine papers of exemptions as well. I have a story to tell you and which I will cover in my upcoming videos as well. That's a success story of a person who was eligible to take nine papers as uh, exemptions, but he just took six. Reason being, he wanted to do auditing and accounting without fail and there was one more additional paper what does this mean every story is different every person is different and your decision is up to you make sure you stay close to your tutors make sure you do the analysis as to if you do not take up any paper or take the exemptions for the same what impact it will have on your acca journey so what are the advantages of claiming acca exemptions number one you save a lot of time number two you save a lot of money as well and number three you get a head start in your career as well in your ACCA journey but again I'm telling you one thing if you are really confident about the subject or the paper in question only then you should take these exemptions there might be a story with you but a separate story for your friend as well what usually happens is if there are exemptions available and you think your friend has taken the same or he has not taken the same basis on which you make a decision or reading through any social media post as well. We tend to make these hasty decisions. So what I would suggest you is sit down, analyze what impact it will have if you claim an exemption on your ACCA journey. That's a really simple question to answer. Now on the flip side, there might be certain disadvantages as well. Just imagine you have taken an exemption and then in your professional exams like tax or even auditing per se, you have to give uh, the same paper again at the professional level. If your base is not strong, trust me, the level which you might need to clear those exams will be very difficult. You need a very strong foundation. So it would make sense to claim exemptions only if you're confident about the paper. Second disadvantage I feel which is the most relevant one. We might be in a hurry to complete the qualification, but remember completing ACCA or any accounting qualification is a marathon. You need to run this marathon at a very good pace. If you skip any part of this marathon, the results, you might be able to have a qualification, but when it comes to your job interviews or actually performing in a job, that might have a different impact altogether. There's a very frequent question which is asked to me that if I claim any exemptions, will the employers look at that? Till date, whatever interviews I have conducted or 
which I have been uh, a part of as well. We only see whether a person has the qualification and the skill sets which are required. Nobody will ask you how many exemptions you took or how many papers you didn't actually give. If you think after completing ACCA or any other professional qualification, your learning journey stops, the answer is completely no. Learning has to be the constant. You need to be up to date with market relevant information or the trends which are there in the market. Every job employer will make this investment in you. All you need to do is be up to date. ACCA will give this foundation to you or make you a thorough professional. Make sure you complete this qualification in a suitable amount of time, which is really important. Lastly, to conclude, this is a marathon, which we need to run at a very good pace. Do remember that. If you need to find out how many exemptions you are eligible for in ACCA, just go on to the website and look out for the ACC exemptions calculator. All you need to do is input the details of the qualification you have done or in, in case of conditional exemption, what qualification you will be pursuing. That way you will get to understand how many exemptions you are eligible for. Be in touch with your tutors and discuss with ACA members or people who have done this qualification and I'm sure they will help you out in selecting which exemptions are best for you. Do not rush. Do not be in a hurry to complete this qualification at any given point of time. If you can, that's amazing. But this is a marathon which we need to run at a very good pace. Thanks for watching my video. In case you have any questions or need any assistance, do reach out to me via any of the social media platforms I am active on. Do subscribe to my channel as well. It will help me out in creating more such informative videos for you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Take care.